Uh, it might look a little bit intimidating because skin layers has so many uh, components. Hello scientists, welcome to Draw by Matt. This is a tutorial channel that teaches scientists to draw professional graphical abstract for their research publication. So uh, in the comment section, some of you asked me how to draw skin in graphical abstract. Uh, it might look a little bit intimidating because skin layers has so many uh, components but uh, it is actually a very simple. So uh, without further ado, let's start to draw about mat. This is the example I found on Nature Review, and um, this is a more complex one that shows different layers of the epidermis. Uh, I think this will be more fun and challenging for you to uh, learn about the techniques in Adobe Illustrator, so uh, that's why I chose to work on this one. So for these three layers, I use Pattern Brush. And uh, for the Stratum Granulosum, I simply build it up uh, with the unit. Uh, you can very quickly build it up by just uh, duplicating it like that and align it. So for these four layers, I use the techniques I show in previous tutorials. You can check them out and follow them, but uh, here I will speed up these uh, process so uh, we can focus on the more challenging part, which is the stratum spinosum. Okay, now the other layers are done, we can focus on stratum spinosum. They look like a pack of irregular cells. If you adjust them one by one, with it will simply take too long. There's a tool that can help us to do this irregular adjustment, which is called the, uh, the wrap tool over here. I will demonstrate how to use this. First, let me turn this layer off. So we can create a new one. Okay, and I will lock all the other other layers so they will not interfere us. The, so this rounded corner square shaped cell is our basic unit. And that's copy one to over here. So first we need to lay this cell all over this space where uh, the stratum spinosum should be uh, occupying. So let me, let me zoom in. Let me duplicate it real quick by holding Option and then drag it. Then press Command D to continue the duplication. See where it has it gone. That looks good. And then let's select all of them. Option, drag to create another layer and then and then another one. And okay, then we should also put some over here to have some coverage at the space. Well, actually, I think 
from my experience, it would be better to move them over, all the way up to overlap a little bit with the stratum granulosum. And then we can put more, fill in the space over here. Like that. Great. Okay, so now this is where the magic happens. Let's select all of these and group them. Then go grab your wrap tool. And once you click it, you'll see that here's a circle appearing and that is like the gravity force of which can push and pull your objects. So, and you can adjust the size of this circle by holding Alt or Option on Mac and then uh, drag your cursor and then you can reshape how big you want the circle to be aka the, gravi uh, the gravity force to be. Let me uh, make it this big and try it out to see how it works. So I will push these cells up like that. really uh, push these that's uh, on the edges into the space where the stratum spinosum cells should be and uh, here I will resize my gravity field my wrap tool to uh, about the size of the uh, stratum granulosum cells and then I will push these cells down. So yeah, by doing this, you can create a sense of that these uh, cells are being pressed by their uh, neighboring tissue. So therefore creates a very nice organic feeling. And uh, then you can move a little bit within the layers to make them more organic. Just uh, work on it until you're happy with your stratum spinosum. Uh, thank you very much for suggesting uh, human skin as uh, a topic for the tutorial. I really love to get these feedback from you guys, so uh, welcome to comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also welcome to subscribe to Drawbell Mat for more tutorials. And I look for, wish you happy Drawbell Mat, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.